We will now take a closer look at the structure and layout of the SID 3300R Saloon HVAC Unit. The air conditioner comprises of three sections. The supply fan compartment, mixed air compartment and the condenser compartment. The supply fan compartment accommodates the conditioned air blower, the emergency inverter and the emergency transformer. The blower is energized at all times whenever the air conditioner is switched on. It draws air from the adjacent mixed air compartment and discharges it into the supply air duct. With the help of the emergency inverter and transformer, the blower will be powered from the car's 110 volt battery bank if there is a three phase power failure. Hinged service covers facilitate access to the supply fan and mixed air compartment. The mixed air compartment is situated in the center of the HVAC unit. It can be accessed either from the saloon through the return air opening or from the roof after opening the hinged mixed air compartment cover. As the name suggests, the fresh ambient air and the return air from the passenger saloon merge in the mixed air compartment. The mixed air is subsequently filtered, cooled or heated before it is discharged into the supply air duct of the passenger saloon. Many serviceable components are located in the mixed air compartment. The fresh air dampers are placed on both sides of the mixed air chamber. The fresh air dampers are motor operated. In normal operation, the effective damper opening is adjusted as a function of the passenger load. If there is smoke in the ambient air, the dampers are closed to prevent the ingress of smoke gases in the saloon. During the operation in emergency mode, the dampers are fully opened to maximize the supply of fresh air into the passenger area. Fresh air filters are located on the downstream side of the dampers. The fresh air filters catch dust particles in the ambient air before the ambient air mixes with the return air. A set of three mixed air filters are provided in front of the evaporator or cooling coil. It is essential for the performance and reliable operation of the air conditioner that the mixed air filters are kept clean and undamaged. They ensure that the dust particles are removed from the mix of return and fresh air before it reaches the cooling or the evaporator coil. During operation in the cooling mode, the mixed air passing through the evaporator coil will be cooled and dehumidified before it is discharged from the supply air opening. The heater bank installed on the downstream side of the evaporator allows to increase the air temperature for operation in heating or dehumidification mode. Overheat protectors attached to the heater bank are provided as safety devices in order to disconnect the heaters if the temperature exceeds a safe level. The mixed air compartment accommodates the electrical control panel. All the electrical switch gear as well as the microcontroller are installed in this electrical control panel. The status of all the MCBs and the motor protection circuit breakers can be viewed through a transparent cover. Two multi-pin electrical connectors are situated on the front side of the panel. The power or the P1 connector 
interfaces with the three phase power supply cable coming from the static inverter. The control or the P2 connector establishes a communication link to the train information system and various signaling circuits. In addition, it connects the control system and the emergency inverter to the battery buffered 110 volt control power supply system. The 110 volt supply to the control system can be turned off with the main control switch or the MCS. With the MCS in off position, the air conditioner is disabled. All its devices will be switched off and it will not communicate with the train information system. There are two RS232 service interfaces. A personal computer can be plugged in at the UMT port while the MMI port is reserved for man-machine interface devices. Do not attempt to connect a PC to the MMI port. It may get damaged. The PC or MMI can be used to operate and to monitor the status of all critical components. The return air temperature sensor is installed in the mixed air compartment just above the return air opening. This return air temperature or RAT sensor measures the temperature of the air drawn from the passenger saloon. Depending on the return air temperature, the HVAC unit adjusts the cooling power to maintain the specified target temperature. A hydrostat is installed on the opposite side of the return air opening under the mixed air filters. The hydrostat monitors the relative humidity of the return air. If the relative humidity exceeds 60%, the air conditioner will initiate the dehumidification mode. The hand shutoff valves located on the left and the right side of the return air opening gives access to the two refrigeration systems. They can be accessed from the passenger compartment after removing the hatch cover. These valves are used during maintenance and repairs. For instance, in order to connect pressure test instruments or remove the gas charge. In addition, these valves can be used to charge refrigerant into the system or to connect a refrigerant recovery device. The refrigerant site